This house is a cradle for our dreams, the workshop of our common endeavor. We gather part of a greater circle of life around the hearth of faith, the altar of our common life, the fire of hope and commitment. Good morning, everyone who are watching us live and uh, those who are here. Let me just let everyone see who's here. Look, hooray. And we are here. Oh, it's starting to, oh, the, there we go. <laughs> the, um, li it's live. You can tell it's live TV. Here we go. Um, we are here today because uh, we get to, we are burning the church, the, the mortgage that we, that was taken out on uh, Fellowship Hall. And, um, uh, but let us start as we do each time we gather by lighting our chalice. And I will light it and um, invite you all to, to join me in saying the, our chalice lighting word. It's, li it's live TV. It's live TV. We do need a flame. <laughs> oh no! It's symbolic, and we'll 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 we'll. But don't worry, we will come back to this. So we're good. In the light of truth, the warmth of community, the fire of commitment, we gather this day. In the flame we now kindle, being to us a symbol of the holiness we see. Significant milestones of a congregation require significant celebration and marking of such milestones with a sense of history of how it is we have been brought to this place. Today, we celebrate the retiring of the debt of our beautiful fellowship hall and in due course, give up our prayers of thanks with the burning of that mortgage. Allow me now to invite uh, uh, Ann Caldwell, uh, our church president, to uh, say a few words and then invite other folks to come and speak if they wish. Ann. Well, while there are half a dozen of us gathered on the lawn of the church, this occasion is really in honor of all the people, all of the people of this church who worked so hard, who gave so generously, and who had a vision for this church that continues to this day. And as Matt Wilson said when he spoke to the congregation last fall, now that the mortgage is paid off, this church truly belongs to all of us. So thank you all for your generosity and your commitment to the church and giving us an opportunity to have this celebratory day. And now I'm going to give each of the important people gathered here who had a part in this a balloon to take home with them so that they remember what they were here for. <laughs> you can go ahead. Okay. All right. Good. At at this point, are, is there anyone here who would like to speak before I invite Ron up? Please, 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 please. Thank you. Hi, everybody. Uh, first off, we certainly want to echo what Anne said and thank the entire congregation. If it weren't for your generosity we wouldn't be able to be here today with the symbolic burning of the mortgage. But I would really like to acknowledge um, Bob Carey for a minute. Uh, we, when Matt and I, when Matt first started actually the process of the Pass on the Light campaign, by the time um, I jumped on board, we spent a lot of time thinking about the actual naming of the campaign and we, uh, did so with a great nod to the history of the church, to the lay people that came before us that had a vision of what we could be and what we could become. So we really felt 
Bob, that we were carrying a light that you had kindled so wisely and so forward thinking. So I just want to acknowledge that if it weren't for you and your committee and your vision for the church, that you know Matt and I wouldn't have been left with such a clear continuation of a vision. So I appreciate you passing on the light to us. Um, and as uh, there'll be more light to pass forward, just saying. <laughs> um, yes. Great. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, Bob, and thanks, Sherry. Yeah, we started um, um, the Pass on the Light campaign probably five years ago, was it? Six, Six years ago? Yeah. yeah, and it's, uh, you know, over probably 100 families uh, participated in it, and it was, um, as you said, Sherry, it's, um, I think this uh, ceremony and this whole process um, shows the importance of passing on from generation to generation um, in the church. When I uh, came here at, in the church over a decade ago, all the fundraising had been done, um, and I didn't have the chance to. I didn't have a chance to contribute, and so the idea of us, um, uh, City, all being able to contribute to this great building, both uh, the sanctuary and Fellowship Hall and Loring, um, it's really exciting to see that we're paid off and that we can now invest in keeping it up and all the great services that the um, that the church uh, provides. So. Um, thanks for everyone who had contributed from a decade ago and for the past six years. Uh, that support is going to be everlasting for the next generation. So thank you. Thank you. Don, do you want to say You sure can. Let me just uh, go right ahead. I want to make sure the balloon gets in here. Well, as uh... you're going to need to move closer and speak louder. Okay. You, and you can even take off your mask if that's going to help. Do any inspections? We won't breathe. We won't breathe. Yes, sir. <laughs> uh, I'd like to recognize uh, one of the other signers of the, the mortgage who isn't here today, and that's Ann Fisher. Uh, in its wisdom, the church chose one of the taller members of the congregation and one of the less tall members of the congregation <laughs> to be signers and i guess that's universe unitarian universalism for you so anyway i do want to recognize ann uh, she's not here today but was a great member of the team bob anyone else would like to speak say a few words Yes, no? Right. Yes, you want to come say, say a few words or not? Well, I'm just curious. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'll just say thank you to so many people who uh, worked on and contributed to this capital as capital needs of this church for it goes back for a good 20 or 30 years in my time so thank you all and now <laughs> sir i believe you have something for us thank you hank yes it's my privilege and it was my privilege last week to make final payment on this mortgage that began on August 22, 2006. This was being made approximately 11 plus years earlier than it would have. So uh, we got it. We got it done as soon as we could, uh, which re which resulted in quite a bit of savings and interest as well. So we're happy about that. And so I have a a uh, document here that I'm going to hand to Hank. And he's going to burn it, and we will no longer have to read it or comply with it. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Let us open our hearts in prayer. O oh, great architect of the universe, we thank you for bringing us to this day and to this hour. 
Although not always easy, we are grateful that we have been able to pay this mortgage in full. Tomorrow is Independence Day, but today we celebrate this congregation's independence from this debt. We celebrate the generosity of our congregation and the excellent stewardship that the leadership um, have provided. The leadership that saw this through from inception through to construction and all the way to today when we mark the paying off of this mortgage. Thou remind us that the elimination of our debt is not the end, but instead the beginning of new opportunities for ministry and mission. As we have paid off our debt with gratitude, prayer, and faith, may we now embrace the call to a new and exciting future with the same gratitude, prayer, and faith. Guided by our mission to deepen and nurture our spiritual lives, build a beloved community, and heal the world. Amen. And now, as I... Matt, please, no, no betting. I know Matt is betting on, on uh, how many matches it's going to take. Please, uh, the over under. <laughs> hang on a second. Hang on. Wait, wait, wait. Here. Oh <laughs> Do you need a windshield? That's what I was thinking. Why don't we all stand Yeah. <laughs> Where are the s'mores? You don't need to call the fire department. I was just going to say, do we need a permit? <laughs> oh. All right, there it is. There, there it goes. Yeah. Hooray! Yay! Yay. <laughs> ashes to ashes. <laughs> And friends, would you join me in reading the unison words you have uh, there in front of you? Grateful for our heritage and the conscience of new opportunities opening before us, we dedicate not only this fellowship hall, but also our hearts and wills, and we covenant together to walk in the ways of mutual service according to our best endeavor. And may God be with us to bless and help and incline and our hearts to keep this covenant. Amen. 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 We, we now, the people of this congregation, surrounded by a great cloud of witness, grateful for our heritage and aware of the sacrifices of our forebearers in the faith, unite to lift our hearts and open our minds to a larger reality, to accept support and encourage one another, to seek the wisdom in all religions, and to cherish and sustain the web of life. Amen. Amen. Hey, well done. Well done, all of you. When was the first dollar raised? What, what year was that? Uh, let's see. We had, we had a report. 